Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah. So going to finish off the trio. I already did crosshairs. I did ratchet. So let's finish off with Siege uh, Ironhide. A little upgrade kit, little filler thing, you know, got going on from uh, Ratchet Studios. So let's just get to it. Yeah. All right, there is Siege Ratchet. Turn it around. See all those waffles. All right, let's fix that. So we'll take the first pieces. These back pieces right here. And what they do is go in right here. this right here there you go easy peasy all right I'm gonna take these right here we'll just turn this around for this little gap right here I see you can paint these if you feel like you want to if you like a little silver more silver or gray or whatever in there yeah if you want to paint them red or something like that you have that option too if you like to do that kind of thing so there you go fill those gaps right there and then you got these right here I think they go in like this fill that right there and then Fill that right there. There you go. I'll turn these forearms around. You take these pieces right here. And I think they go like this right here. Fill that in there like that. And then fill that in like that. Snug and fit really good. And you got these little slots right here. This one, slide it in there. There you go. All right, you got these right here. Take these little round pieces, and then you can push them in a little bit like that. Take your other piece right here, fill it in just like the other ones. Go. Same with this one. Fill that right there. Come on. Work with me. All right. There you go. Now, the one part I don't like, I broke on the I broke the ratchet one, so hopefully I can fix this one right here. But this is what we're gonna do with the feet. So you take this piece, hope I don't break this. All right, I'll slide it in there. It's a little pain to bust too, because it just doesn't fit just right. It's a little, a little snug in the areas. Do this off camera. All right, I'll be right back. All right, man. Finally got these damn things in. They are a pain to butt to get in. Lucky I didn't break them. You know, like I did the ratchet ones. But there they are. Like I said, you can paint them red if you want to. Nobody's ever gonna see them. But I'll put these on in a second. But I'm gonna transform this fella, and just like that, and just like that, he is transformed into his alt mode. And again, like I said, the only thing you really took notice is that right there. Covers it up pretty good. There you go. That won't stay down. Hmm. And these things pop off real easy. I forgot how bad it was. There you go. You can see underneath like that. Well, so pretty cool. Rolls. But this one stuck again, man. I don't know. All right. 
Oh, there he is in his alt mode. And just like that, there he is back to robot mode, and there he is doing the lean over because he's got that little thigh extension, whatever. So there you go. A little difference in height if you want to, but like I said, on the other two, you can't transform them into uh, alt mode with that on. You have to take that off and everything. So well, there you go. All right, one more turn around. See so everything all filled in, all that good stuff. Looks really good. Like I said, you want to paint them, you can. You have that option. Little fillers right there, fillers right there, and right there. And fillers right there, too. So pretty cool. All right. That is the uh, Ratchet Studios upgrade filler kit for Siege Ironhide. All right, folks. It's picture time. Let's go. All right, hope you like those pictures. So, final thoughts on the Ratchet Studios uh, filler gap filler upgrade kit for Siege Iron High. Like I said with the other two, it's a good set. Only thing I have a downfall, or you know, the only thing I really have, you know, anything against it is the feet things. It takes, it's a pain in the butt to get them in there. Once they're there, there. Once they're in there, they are good to go. But man, it's just be careful with it. Like I said, with the Ratchet ones, I broke them, so just be careful with them. But other than that. I love how it fills all the gaps, makes it a whole lot better, you know, less waffly and everything. So I think it's a good set, you know, it's not very expensive, you know, around 12, 13 bucks, I think. So it's not going to break the bank. So I think it's a good set. And like I said, you, if you want to paint them, that's your choice too as well. You know, have a little project, you know, in the future. So it's pretty cool. So I think it's a good set. I'm glad I got them. You know, you're always good to, you know, fill in those gaps. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review and what you think of these little gap fillers and everything. If anybody in on these, I think they're pretty cool. And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, add-on kit, add-on kit, add-on kit for days. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks.